This tutorial is brought to you by sarahzinkspot.com. Hi, my name is Sarah Wills and this is the second of my tutorials where I'm demonstrating to you some of the cool things you can do with Stampin' Up's brand new software package, My Digital Studio. This tutorial will show you how to do some easy and fun things with stamps using this software that you cannot do with the actual physical stamp in your hand. This is the opening screen of My Digital Studio. Firstly, I select greeting card and then the size I wish to use. In this case, I'm going to use the standard size of 5.5 by 4.25 landscape. I'm going to create my own card from scratch, so I click Create Your Own, and then I need to give it a file name. I want to use a blank canvas, so I choose Blank Page. And here is my canvas. I want to change my background color, so I go over to the right and select Background Papers, Color, and I want to use vanilla, so I click on vanilla and OK. Next I want to put a layer of pattern paper at the bottom, so I go over here again, but this time I select designer series paper. I want to use small polka dot and the color old olive. Now I want to add this as a page layer, so I select add as page layer. If I don't do that and I simply click OK, it will cover the whole canvas with that pattern. To make this pattern the size I want it to be, I simply double click on it and then I can make it narrower and wider using this button at the bottom. When it's the size I want it to be, I click on OK. Now the great thing is that you don't have to be terribly accurate with positioning. The area outside of my canvas will not be printed, so I don't have to worry about trimming exactly to size. I move it into position by holding my left mouse button down, and when it is where I want it to be, I take my finger off. And now I want to add some ribbon. So I go over to my resource palette and I click on the embellishments button here. I click on browse to view the embellishments available to me and I select grow grain ribbon and open. Then I scroll down to choose the color I wish to use and I want chocolate chip so I click on it and I drag it over and then I position it where I want it to be. Now I'm going to choose my stamps so I go back to the resource palette and click on the stamp icon and then browse to see what stamp sets are available. I want to use a stamp from Cheap Talk, so I click on that and open. I scroll down to find the stamp I wish to use and I want to use this bird, so I click on him and I drag him over and I position him where I want him to be. And I want to add another bird, so I do the same thing. Now I want my birds to look like they are talking to each other, so I go over to the design center on the right and click on mirror. And this turns my bird around, and now they look like they are talking to each other. I want to add another stamp, so I scroll back up and I find the stamp I wish to use, in this case the branch, I click on it and I drag it over. Now I want it to be this side of the card, so again I click on mirror which turns it around and then I position it where I want it to be. Now I'm going to change some colors. I want my branch to be brown so I click on change color. I want it to be chocolate chip so I click on OK. Now I want this bird to be old olive so I click on him and then on change color and I select old olive and OK and then I want this bird to be red, so I click on him, click on change color, and I'm going to make him ruby red. But now I think my card needs another bird, but ideally I want to put a little bird in there under the branch. If you are using this stamp set in real life, you don't have the option to change the size, as your stamps are the size that they are. But this is yet another cool thing that you can do with your stamped images in My Digital Studio. I want to use this bird here, so I click on him and I drag him across. I want him to turn around and face the other two birds, so I come over and I select mirror. Now to change his size, you use one of the grey buttons in the corner, put your mouse on it, click it, hold it down and drag it to size. And there, I just made him smaller. And I want to change his colour, so I click change colour. I'm going to make him Dusty Durango. And there he is. Now for some finishing touches, I want to add a sentiment. So I go over to the resource bar, click on browse to see the stamp sets available, and I want to use a stamp from All Holidays. So I click on that and open. 
Then I click on the stamp I wish to use and drag it into position. And finally I want to add a knot to my ribbon. So I go over and I click on the embellishments icon and browse and there you see you can choose from a grow grain ribbon bow or a grow grain ribbon knot. I'm going to choose a knot so I open that and I scroll down to find the chocolate chip one. I drag it over. I want it to face the other way so I come over to the design center and I click on flip which turns it upside down and I move it into position. And there you have a very simple but fun card using stamped images in a way that you can't use them physically. You can also turn your images upside down and sideways and rotate them. You could even change them in different ways, for example you could have a stack of birds, the bottom one being big and each up the stack getting progressively smaller. I've done this and it's very effective. You can see an example of how I resize stamped images from the set Snowburst. I created a card where I altered the sizes of snowflakes and it was fun and easy to do and to gain something you cannot do with actual rubber stamps. You can find this card at sarahsinkspot.com. Simply scroll down to the My Digital Studio blog carnival post of October the 3rd to see what I did. You can find further ideas for using this wonderful new product on my blog which you can find at sarahsinkspot.com. There you will also find a link to find out what is included in the My Digital Studio software package and a button to contact me if you have any questions about it. Thank you for watching and have a great day. Thank you for watching. For more information, visit us at sarahsinkspot.com.